What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I am doing some monthly readings and I'm on the side of Taurus. Um, if you'd like the extended for this, it comes with some extra cards about what does this person want to say to you? What do they want you to know? And a message from them to you along with more, um, Oracle cards, um, that I'll be offering for 25 for unlimited views. I do have a few spots open for personal readings, so go to the about section of my channel and check out the prices and then email me. So Taurus, you have, how does someone think about you? You have the ace of pentacles. You have the Seven of Pentacles, and you have the Four of Cups. Someone is thinking of you as someone who can help them out financially, someone that they've spent a lot of time with, and that like you almost owe this to them. It's kind of someone you couldn't walk away from because of the attachment issues of not wanting to lose them. Um, the Four of Cups is basically feeling bored and disconnected and thinking about stability, but there's emptiness here. And this might be someone that you recently went back to or you will be. Um, I feel like there's a divorce here, but maybe it's time to tell the truth and make a decision because there's a job offer trying to come in for you, but... This energy up here is, it's not good. And I feel like someone's going to leave unexpectedly. And then there's might be some travel issues with this. So have a little bit of faith. Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, there will be some news coming in. But you need to figure out the parts of you that are still toxic to other people. Especially things like being controlling and deceptive and greedy and jealous and self-centered and manipulative and sleeping around. They're selfish, jealous, insecure, a lot of misunderstandings when it comes to communication because I feel like there's some of you that don't communicate at all and it leaves um, this level of confusion with people and there's a lot of chaos because things are really unbalanced and someone is very <clears throat> emotionally unreliable and someone's really unhappy and there might be children involved there might be some codependency um, but it's really unstable it's really toxic and it is causing a lot of um, depression and anxiety for you but it's like you feel like giving up but you're not you realize that this could end in divorce and heartbreak but maybe this person is pregnant with your child or you wanted a new beginning, but I feel like there's still some things that aren't being said to you. You're still being lied to. Um, something to do with a job. There is an investment, but I feel like you really, some of you guys are dealing with someone who really is causing chaos in your life because they want your money. And you need to do the right thing in this and move forward with your life and let this transition happen because this cycle has been repeated for so long. It's time to see this for what it is and change your life before you end up in a really bad place and find your confidence and figure out how to love yourself, figure out how to forgive yourself and this person, um, practice compassion and empathy for them but also realize that this is a situation that is not stable, that it is unbalanced, that it is overbearing, and it is scattered, and there's still no closure in this. And it's causing the bad luck in your life. And you're arguing, there's other people involved, and you're still not saying anything about it. Because a part of you feels like you need them, or maybe someone needs you. Um, this is someone from your past that you always go back to. Um, you consider them a really good friend because of all the memories, but at the same time, there is no commitment here. There's a lot of abuse and a lot of things that have influenced your life probably for 
nine or 10 years and you just don't want to fight with them. But at the same time, you're not walking away and you're not recovering. There's no improvement. There's just stress and exhaustion and missed opportunities and fake masks being worn. And you need to leave this abusive situation because it has caused so much negativity and sadness and depression. You're literally taking on a narcissist energy of your own because this is how long you've been in this cycle. You've wasted time on this. You're blaming yourself for this because you keep thinking that this person... <sighs> You want forgiveness, but they're manipulating you into thinking that everything is your fault. So you always lose your confidence because you're listening to them. And you want good things in this situation, but you need to realize that if you're not on your path, you can wait for things to get better. You can believe and tell yourself that they will. But at the end of the day, you're going to be waiting for a very long time that this it has a lot to do with greed. It has a lot to do with um, people coming in and out of your life, um, punishing yourself and trying to make things right, but still being pretty chaotic when it comes to sleeping around and being reckless. And it's causing a lot of confusion in your life and misunderstandings and fear. And this is done on purpose because this is a narcissist. Take the blindfold off, Taurus. And get yourself away from this person. Take the time to heal so you can have a new start somewhere else. Forgive yourself. Forgive this person. Even if you don't want to, it's not for them. It's for you. If there's children involved, then get a lawyer or get some help to try to get them out of the situation. But this is something you need to release. You're under an illusion that this is, can be this partnership and this is your other half. When this is a karmic soulmate that you won't let go of. And they have made you so insecure. You feel like you can't let them go because you're afraid of the change, but it's fucking up your life. You're still being lied to. You're still repeating the same mistakes. You're not moving anywhere. You're doing the same thing you've always done because you're afraid to stand up and stand your ground and tell this person the truth. Because you don't want to fight with them. You do have regrets. Maybe there were things that happened on both sides. But you're not letting old shit go. Because you don't want to let go and move on. Or this person doesn't want to let you go. But this is literally the devil. Addiction. Greed. Envy. Materialism. Compulsion. Anger. Jealousy. Selfishness. Dysfunction. Feeling trapped. But it's a lie and it's an illusion you need to release. <sighs> 